just something to relax in between. A mailbag. And this time I have actually have two items and I'm sorry, uh, this was from Amazon. Both are from Amazon or ordered by Amazon and I already took that out here of a bigger box uh, which contained um, <clears throat> among other things clothing items which you're probably not really interested in. So uh, let's begin with the envelope here and it came from France as far as I can see. Uh, there's a packing slip, there's nothing interesting on here but <laughs> my address. And oh bubble wrapped. Uh, can I get this open? Yeah. And inside the bubble wrap is another. Come on. <laughs> Plastic bag. And that plastic bag, oh, you can already read it, I guess, uh, is a, huh, a welcome card for a teensy. And an SD bag, uh, electrostatic bag, not SD, sorry. And it contains. <laughs> A teensy. Let's zoom down. So yeah, it's a teensy 4.0 32-bit Arduino compatible microcontroller. And yeah, it comes with this nice card here. Uh, it had or has obviously here pins for the breadboard and uh, it has even more pins to solder on stuff on the back, so quite a lot of I.O. Uh, let's make a comparison to my <clears throat> beloved Arduino Nano Avery. So it has the same width as an Arduino Nano, but it's one, two, three pins shorter and the pin headers here are one pin shorter. Uh, but that's not all. This is not an AT Mega or something like that, but this is an ARM Cortex CPU. To be more exact, it's an ARM Cortex M7 CPU, 32 bits, 600 megahertz, while uh, we all know and love the AT Mega 4809 with its 8 bits and 20 megahertz on the Arduino Nano. Uh, going through uh, some selected specs here, so the Avery comes with 6 kilobytes of RAM, here we have a full megabyte flash 84 four kilobytes of RAM, almost two megabytes of flash, EEPROM 256 bytes and uh, yeah, uh, full kilobyte here, but it's emulated. So that is really stored within the flash. Um, IO, I squared C, SPE, UART. Uh, we know that one, one, one for the Avery and the Teensy Sports three I squared C's, three SPIs and seven UARTs with real FIFOs. So buffered UARTs, oh, that's something. PWM pins and analog digital converters, uh, five and eight for the every 10 bits, the ADCs, the TNCS, 31 PWM pins and 14 ADCs, 12 bit. Uh, it also has uh, three CAN interfaces for the CAN bus. It has a real-time clock. There's a pin here somewhere to uh, connect a buffer battery. Uh, I O. <laughs> that's a little bit tricky. I mean, that's the five-volt world, and with the ARM context, 
you enter the 3.3 volt IO voltage world. So also no five volt tolerance here on that thingy. But it has also a floating point unit, 32 bits and 64 bit floating point support. And for the audio guys here, I don't know what that really means, but it has an I2S uh, respectively TDM interface. Uh, that is two of them. Now let's see about that Arduino compatibility. So on the website pjrc.com you find something uh, under uh, Teensy Downloads. Uh, yeah, I put a link in the description. Uh, that's called Teensy Duino. And that you basically install over your Arduino IDE and then you should be able to program that thing via the Arduino IDE. Um, one remark, uh, that's not the only way to, uh, yeah, to use that thing. It has also its own compiler IDE environment. Uh, but let's try that Teensy Duio stuff first. So that does not support each and every Arduino, ver uh, Arduino IDE version. It currently goes from uh, 185 to 1819. I just updated my environment to 1819 and uh, yeah, they will drop support for 1815 soon in the next version. Uh, but I guess that means for 1815 and before. Anyway, you can download here a Windows installer and also a Windows serial installer. I guess that's the serial driver for the thing. I will download both now and um, yeah, then we install and see. Okay, so here, Teensy Duino install. Okay, I will try to zoom a little bit in here later on in edit. So yeah, next USB, 10 USB serial driver found. No driver installation is needed. Nice. And select folder, C program files, x86 Arduino, seems okay. And choose additional libraries to install. Yeah, why not take everything? Uh, click install to begin. Unable to write changes. Oh, I have a copy of Arduino running and it doesn't like that during the installation. Ah, to run your sketch on a teensy USB board. Uh, Click verify, press push button. We will see, just, just uh, remember I might have to press that reset or push button here on the board. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll start everything up and then we'll see. Okay, I have my Teensy here, not plugged in at the moment, obviously. Uh, ports. Oh, look, I have here board, board, for, ho, ho, ho. Okay, uh, port COM10 and COM6, that's not the Teensy. Now I plug the Teensy in. Okay, Windows made a sound. And oh, yeah, we have a Blinken sketch pre-installed. But now I should have here another port. Oh, here. It's a Teensy port. It's not a serial port. It's a Teensy port. Interesting. Okay, I scrolled here through uh, several examples. Uh, echo both. That sounds interesting. Ah, uh, shoot, uh, that was just a second before. So I compiled the example uh, without any problems. Uh, just before it reminded me again to, oh, where do I have it? Here, to press now the button. A 
Okay. Ah! Look that. Now it's no longer USB after I pressed the button, but now it's a COM3 serial. Okay, TNC 4.0. Uh, but I still don't want that uh, that example here. That worked, I think. And my TNC is still at 0.4. So let's upload. Okay, that's it. Now let's have a look at the serial monitor. Hoo hoo hoo! Hello world with 700 megahertz. Great. Uh, yeah, okay. That shall be enough as an initial <clears throat> review of the Tinsy. Obviously it works. Oh, and the serial monitor really has a problem stopping the auto scroll <laughs> as fast as the data comes here. Uh, anyway, yeah, uh, let's move on to that second box I had. And that's via Amazon from AZ Delivery, uh, your experts for microelectronics. And yeah, I think it's a German company specializing of on um, importing Chinese stuff and then reselling it inside Germany. Uh, yeah, something new here? Mm, not really. Oh yeah, it's an AZ delivery FT232RL USB to TTL serial adapter. And this should contain three of these little thingies <clears throat> and it does. So let's have a look at one of them. So last time somebody complained that I wasn't using the right tool for opening these bags. So <clears throat> now I have a pair of scissors, the right tool for the job. And we have a little, yeah, <laughs> a little USB to TTL level serial adapter here based on that uh, FT232RL chip. So not that prominent uh, Chinese um, CH341. And to be honest, uh, let's zoom down. I do not see any ports here. So that chip here can, can we see the markings? So the chip is stamped, <laughs> even stamped a set delivery. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> maybe it's a knockoff. I don't know. But uh, obviously you have here a jumper uh, where you can switch between 5 volts and 3.3 volts, uh, signal level and output voltage. That's good. And we have here, that's why I bought the boards in the first place, um, because you can put here headers, pin headers in and plug that directly into your breadboard. And uh, it's a sturdy base to plug something in here. Uh, but you also have that pin header here that provides you with most pins. So this is ground, this is DTR, this is RX, this is TX, this is VCC out, hopefully and this is CTS. But uh, for now, the important stuff to test that is ground and the TX pin. Okay, and I want five volt levels, so let's reinsert that jumper here. Let's plug it in and see if Windows, without installing a driver, recognizes that thing as a serial port. So I'm staying here in the Arduino environment to test out if uh, there pops up a new serial port. So at the moment we only have COM10 and COM6. And if I plug that thing in now, it made a sound. 
as if Windows has recognized it. And now we should have port 4. And I didn't have to install any drivers under Windows 10. Okay. So, uh, serial monitor. Where are you? Okay. Here's the serial monitor. Uh, now let's set up the oscilloscope and see if we get actually a serial signal out of here. Okay, you probably can't see it, but uh, I'm typing in hello here in the serial monitor. And uh, then we go here to single and enter. And that is our uh, TT USB to TTL level serial signal. Wonderful. So yeah, and zooming in a little bit, I set the serial monitor to one megabout and I changed here the time base now to one microseconds. And yeah, one bit is exactly one microsecond, so one megabout. And uh, yeah, that was the whole signal. That was hello. <laughs> Okay, and here's the Amazon listing. So I bought three of these FTL232 USB to TTL serial adapters and I paid $12.49 including shipping. Uh, that's not true. I paid, I swear, a few days ago just 12 euros. So four euros per adapter. But uh, yeah, anyway, and I won't show you the Amazon listing for the um, Teensy because uh, it was completely overpriced. I was not very careful there, you know, uh, uh, Amazon gift cards over Christmas and uh, went shopping and bought that for uh, twice as much as it costs from the vendor itself. There you can get the Ten Tinsy 4.0 for just, uh, where's the price? Why isn't there a price? Ah, here, uh, $20. Okay, uh, so international shipping might cost something, but uh, I have no idea. Uh, okay, uh, let's forget about that. Uh, but uh, $20 and I I almost paid 40 euros so that really pains myself because there's also a teensy oh no teensy 40 pins okay uh, $23 that's my model but I still paid yeah too much too much don't buy that over Amazon uh, there's also a Teensy 4.1 uh, where you have more of the I.O. pins of that processor routed out here uh, to pin headers. So yeah, that's also very nice. Um, yeah, and you have a micro SD card slot here too and you have an Ethernet <laughs> connector. Yeah, if you need that. Uh, maybe next time. Teensy 4. Point one. And that's it for today. USB to serial <laughs> adapter and uh, TC 4.0. Till next time. Bye.